This is our homemade altimeter, and this is Zephyr Jr. rocket from Apogee Components. Let's see how our altimeter performed on its first flight. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. We've been slowly developing this altimeter for about a year now. It's made from an Arduino Nano, an Adafruit altimeter, and a SparkFun data logger with a micro SD card slot. It's powered by two 2032 coin batteries and logs at around 65 Hz. It was originally planned to fly on Falcon 1, but since that's been discontinued, it'll be used on other rockets that we're developing. First though, we wanted to test fly on a rocket that has a much better chance of a safe flight. We decided to fly on a Zephyr Jr. rocket bought from Apogee Components. We also needed a way to hold it in the rocket with minimal air disturbance from the ejection charge, since the altimeter is barometric, which means it measures air pressure. If it was attached to the inside of the body tube though, there would be no room to fit the parachute inside, plus it would be hard to get in and out. This meant we needed the altimeter to be in a protective case, so we made this 3D printed case that would attach to the nose cone and protect the altimeter. This also makes it easy to get the altimeter in and out. All you need to do is put the altimeter in this case and screw the door closed. We launched the rocket on an SD's E124 at my very first club launch. The shock cord and nose cone separated from the body, which was a little scary, but everything was recovered, no damage except for the shock cord being torn out. I was able to fix it right away when we got home. I didn't bring my computers to launch, so we had to go home to look at the data. But, there was no data. Data or data? The data logger did not log data to the SD card for some reason. Data or data? While investigating later, we found that the data logger's connection to the data board was just a little too loose. This means we'll have to wait another month before we can launch again at the next club launch, because I don't want to risk losing the rocket and the electronics at a small park. It was still a very fun launch day. We flew electronics for the first time, plus we got to see some really cool high-power rockets. Until next time, bye.